No captivity. Freezy. Freezy. What up? You are officially locked in to No Captivity with Freezy. And if you're rock with your boy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now. And also comment and share this video. That is if you're rock with your boy, Freezy. Why they call it Russell Wayside damn time? Now I know plenty of you guys out there are asking the same damn question. Why they call it Russell Wayside damn time? I don't know, but I got a couple of theories that I'm gonna run past you guys and you guys tell me what you think. Also, get the comment section lit because they just did an update. She just admitted that she lied and we also gonna discuss some possible charges that she might be facing. Let's go to the no cap room and see what's really going on. Shout out to WESH Channel 2 who published this article not too long ago titled Carly Russell admits there is no child or kidnapping and apologizes according to police. No captivity. The disappearance of Carly Russell was declared a hoax, according to Hoover Police Chief Nick Dertzies. Now authorities are investigating possible criminal charges, and we're gonna get into those possible criminal charges in one sec. Jay Chill. This one here for the thug. But let's look at the news conference that actually unveiled this whole Carly Russell mystery, reporting that she admittedly lied about the whole damn thing. Let's listen in. No kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th. 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed. Now remember y'all, nobody knew where Carly Russell was for a whole 49 hours. You heard what I said? A whole 49 hours. She played with your emotions and mine and expect for us to pray for her, even though this a praying channel. But this one here a little hard to swallow, I ain't gonna lie, like Carly Russell did. No captivity. But let's look at what Carly Russell will possibly be charged with. I mean, it seems like this would be a very serious offense. You feel what I'm saying? She did have like rescue teams looking for her, whole neighborhoods, the FBI, the police department, hell, the whole United States of America. So let's examine these charges and see what she really up against. So right here it says penalties for giving false information. Now this is under Florida's jurisdiction, but I'm guessing that it's not too much different being that we cousins and all. In Florida, giving false information to law enforcement may carry misdemeanor or felony penalties, depending on the number of prior convictions and the subject matter of the information. If this is your first offense where the information communicated does not concern a capital felony, a first offense for false information is a first degree misdemeanor with penalties up to one year in jail or 12 months of probation and a thousand dollar fine. A second offense for false information is classified as a third degree felony with penalties of up to five years in prison or five years of probation and a $5,000 fine. False information concerning a capital felony is classified as a third degree felony with penalties of up to five years in prison or five years of probation and a $5,000 fine. So we know a capital felony involves either murder, drug trafficking, armed kidnapping, or other such. So we already know she don't qualify for the third option. And to my knowledge, this is not her second offense. So guess what, guys? It seems like she only qualifies for the first offense. Now, I might be wrong, and I am prejudging the whole situation. But more than likely, if I was to bet on it, this girl ain't gonna end up with nothing but probation and a thousand dollar fine. That's if they don't make her pay back all the money it took to fund the search teams. Who knows? I'm just guessing. This one here for the thug. 
But let's examine why Carly Russell really did it. By now, we know she lied about the little white baby and she lied about being kidnapped. She actually took her ass in them damn woods while it was pitch dark and went to the other side and jumped the gate. Now, who was waiting on the other side? Was it a damn boyfriend? Was he in on it? Word is, he just broke up with her. Maybe he don't want none of the heat. Maybe he knows something we don't. Huh? Other than that, it's plain to see this girl ain't got good sense. And my final conclusion is that she was trying to bring attention to herself. You know, in this social media age. After all, maybe she thought she could make her name popular. Start a YouTube page. Like No Captivity with Freezy. No Captivity. And blow up from there. After all, she just got fired last Friday, July 21st for stealing a dark towel and some damn toilet paper. I ain't lying. That's all you do. She did that. You route. She stole some damn toilet paper and got fired. So maybe this was her bright idea to blow up in the media's eyes and never look back. But how long was she gonna keep up the lie if she wouldn't have got caught? That's the big question, ain't it? Who knows? But one thing I do know, we need a word from the most high above. Where you at, father? Oh, there you go. And he coming to us from Proverbs 12, chapter 19th verse. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. You see, Carly Russell, you might get away with the lie for one day or a thousand. But sooner or later, the truth will reveal itself. No captivity. To support stories of this magnitude, of this importance, please send the cash out to dollar sign Freezy1976. And also, the PayPal information is listed below in the description. And I'd like to give a special shout out to Justin Wade for his generous donation to the No Captivity platform. We truly appreciate it, my brother. We truly appreciate it. And remember, all sponsors will be recognized. That's a fact. <laughs> And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. No captivity with Freezy. No captivity. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can be put up on all the latest updates that we release. And remember what I always tell you guys, and this is especially for you, Carly Russell. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here. No captivity. Freezy, freezy, freezy.